Welcome to Learn System View in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 10 on the topic working with equations and MATLAB scripts in System View. Now, MATLAB is a very popular programming language, and most of the engineers who are into baseband or system design you know, domain are pretty aware of MATLAB. So it will be very interesting to, to kind of use uh, the same programming environment while working with System View. And System View um, already has a native capability whereby we have included a MATLAB.m scripter natively inside the product which designers can use. So let's see how we can use different features or different places um, you know, in our system design and activate all the customization capability or signal processing capability provided by MATLAB. Now, one of the very common uh, place where you will find MATLAB uh, in a script environment is under Workspace Tree, and you can notice there is an equation page here. Now, if we enhance this equation page, this is basically your scripting page, and this is how you will type here this exactly the same program like you would type in MATLAB. Now, if you look at the, the title of this page is, is MATLAB script. So essentially, it's a MATLAB. And the way you start writing is very similar to how you would write MATLAB. You have all the pop-up you know, function references as you are typically used to see. And all the common functions like FFT and all those things which you have in MATLAB is accessible inside system view. So that's one place you could type. So let's declare a couple of values here and let me illustrate what we are doing. So once we are here in MATLAB, uh, in our script page, there are two versions of MATLAB. One, which we call as MATLAB script, that means built-in MATLAB program, and another is retail copy of MATLAB or external copy of MATLAB. Now, depending on the nature of the program which you're writing, if you need can be satisfied by just the .m scripting capability, you can use the system view in build program. But if you need to access um, you know, a few toolboxes, uh, those will not be available inside system view native MATLAB script. You need to connect to your external MATLAB copy. And the switch is very simple. If you just simply right click, you could select either you want to work with uh, MATLAB script, which is built in into system view. You don't need any additional license to, to have this feature. Or you can switch to your retail or actual installed copy of MATLAB having all the licenses as required. Uh, for your signal processing code to run. So the switch is very simple and system view will automatically do the job. Even if you are using external copy of MATLAB, it will run behind the scene. So the user is totally transparent. System view will control the flow of data between uh, system view and MATLAB back and forth. Right Now this equation pages can work in two modes. One is what we can call as auto calculate. That means once we write our functions, we close this function or we invoke this functions, those variables get calculated. Now, where is the place to see these variables or values? Um, if you have view and you can see the workspace variables and the design variables, so those window can be seen here. So at this place, if I execute this program, and then I would be able to see anything under workspace variable, meaning anything which is under this global tree, all those variable equations or variable values will be displayed here. The another concept is what we call as design variable. Now, the design variable is something local to a particular design. So right now we are in design one. And if you want to have a function which is local to this schematic, we could right click on this tab and select add equation. Now, this is exactly the same equation page with all the same MATLAB capability, but anything which we type here, so let me type some different value with the same variable name. Um, anything which we type here and execute, they appear here. So same Y variable is used in a global context, which, which has value of 20 and the y value which is used inside local context here has value 100 so it's one and the same thing right so there are different places depending upon the scope of variables and where exactly you want to access that you could use this now a lot of times when we write uh, complex signal processing code we don't write a flat code in a single script if you need more uh, script pages we could right click add and we can select the script you know, equation pages to be added in our tree. Other way is to add 
add functions. So this is typically how a typical signal processing guy will use. So let me call it my func one. And once I click OK, it opens up a functions page and here I can do my function you know, description. And once I do that, this function is available inside the tree and that can be called either in this MATLAB script page, which is global, or I could call that a function here because again, remember, anything which is here is global in nature and can be accessed anywhere in our, our workspace. So that's a quick introduction of you know working with MATLAB and the scripting inside System View. As we go along, we will see some practical uses of these. In the next tutorial video, we'll talk about how can we do inline MATLAB signal processing. That means while our signal diagram is here, how can I insert a MATLAB block, for example, at this node? Um, and perform certain specific you know, operation on this modulated spectrum and so on. So we'll create a very simplistic looking diagram in the next video and illustrate that concept for you. Thanks for watching, hope you like the video.